Welcome to another video from East Beds Bushcraft, the home of Hashtag Survival. Greetings bushcrafters and survivalists, it's Buzz here. And Zach. And Hello. Zach, Zach joins me. Now, uh, if you've watched my previous video on the Anglo Arms pistol crossbow, mm -hmm. uh, I've been asked, thanks guys for commenting about that. Uh, you yeah, know, you've had a really video. good response from that. Uh, yeah, so people were interested about the issues I had with the bolts. Mm. It's fair mm. to say I have really, over the past month, put this through with its paces and I've had no issues with it. It hasn't stopped working. It's still very durable. Brilliant. Totally durable. So I'm very really resilient. pleased with the actual pistol crossbow itself. The bolts were an issue. Right. And that's what this video is about. So the actual crossbow came with, I think, three of these yeah. standard type bolts. They've got uh, alloy shaft, screw on steel tip, and a plastic yeah. flight, okay? Mm. That's like the back, like third. Yeah, now it's these, then we bought a job lot of these, mm -hmm. uh, because we thought, well, yeah, why not? They were a good price. I mean, they're pretty cheap, I yeah. mean, it was like 12 quid for... 24? 24. That's two bolts, packs of 12. You know, you know, so we thought, okay, we'll just get a load of these. Target shooting, what, what's the problem? Yeah, you know, you're just banging them into targets, no problem at all. But, but, I'm generally shooting this at around 80 feet away from the target mm -hmm. and using the target that you saw in the previous video, which I use that for my longbows, mm. and that's a layered like rubber target. But also I've used the standard straw targets, etc. And mm. to be honest, it doesn't matter which target I'm shooting at. If they impact on the target um, and penetrate into the target deep enough, which they do seem to these pack, pack a punch. Mm. Um, it's one of two things. It's either it penetrates through the target, and as soon as it goes to the point of the flights, it literally snaps the flights off. Which isn't good. Which isn't good. Or if you're hitting the target on occasions and the target is a little bit kind of, uh, of a, a tougher target. So some of the um, straw targets that we've got, they tend to get a little bit softer on the outside, but t towards the center, they're harder. Yeah. Uh, and it's like the impact, um, the, 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 the power of the impact snaps these off mm. because they've actually got just a small bit of plastic going into the shaft here. Which doesn't so, really stand yeah, up to no, much, no, so which is a shame. It's a very, very small bore that you've got in the shaft. Mm. And so that is just snapping off on this type of And bolt. that makes it unusable. Yeah, I mean... And it's not something that can be easily repaired. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, you have tried. I've but... tried by basically reducing the flight down mm. to a size, boring out this with a drill and gluing them in, and then you go through that process to only find they snap off. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I have had comments, and thank you very much for the comments, about saying try different types of target. And, and you know, I take that on board. But ideally, I just want crossbow bolts, which the, I can uh, lose. Strong and reliable. And don't have this defect where they snap so off. So you found a solution. So I think I found a solution. I have switched over to this type of bolt. And that is a full aluminium shaft. Now, I must say there is another type of bolt, which is basically identical to these ones, but it's a full plastic bolt mm. with just the steel tip that is on. But then, in experience with those, it's the problem is yeah. at the other end. The fracture point, instead of the fracture point being here with the, where the flight is, mm. the fracture point's down on the tip. And you tend to lose the tips a lot. Yeah, or it literally impacts the shaft and the shaft just, yeah. just crumples, crumples up to the front. However, with the full plastic ones, it is, again, fair to say you can get about 60 of those. Mm. So the price point per unit goes right way down. down. So you kind of think, okay, well... For the target shooting, yes. Yeah, maybe, maybe the plastic ones might be an option. Mm. Uh, the other thing is that they get a bit distorted as well. Yeah, I can and see that. And once happening. they start distorting, then they don't fly through. Mm. Anyway, these ones have proven to be pretty good. Yeah. These ones are full aluminium shaft. Okay, so that that's sturdy. Uh, screw on tips, no problem I've had with those. Mm. Rubber flights. Okay, so the flights are rubber and they are glued onto the shaft. Yeah, and by comparison, this is a lot harder plastic yeah, whereas those these are rubber. Now, a bit this, more this durable I think so when they've hit the target I've had no fracturing mm. because that literally can't happen and that's good okay? that's so good the impact strength hasn't caused any fracture mm. as it did with these and the penetration into the target 
because these are rubber, they fold as they go into the target. Mm. And I've only had a couple of these, maybe say half a dozen, mm. where either one, on, on one occasion, both flights have actually peeled back going through the target. Right. But, this is the big thing, but the flights have been 100% intact and not damaged, mm. which meant I've then got the flights, still got the shaft, and I've basically glued them straight back onto the shaft. Yeah. And they are 100% reusable, no problem at and all. And that's the thing, that repair process, unlike I mean, the other ones, yeah. is a lot faster. I, I'm so used to making fletching arrows and for our longbows. more durable. Um, so, you know, I've got all my arrow kit for... for basically making longbow arrows mm -hmm. uh, and fletching proper fletchings onto arrows. So just by literally sticking a little bit of the adhesive that I use for the fletchings mm. on there, a bit of soft wood or even a bit of foam rubber, you just push it in, glue them on, put them on one side, let it set, job done, come back to those later. But I've got 24 of those for £20. Mm. So, so the price has the gone price up. The price has bit. gone up, but for the better quality mm, and the durability See, there was nothing especially. i found there was nothing more kind of uh, i'd say depressing but you know disheartening disheartening perfect these were these were disheartening bolts because of the amount of times <laughs> the flights come off these ones no problem at all mm. because let's face it when you're doing archery yes arrows break mm. yeah if you miss the target sometimes and you're overshooting maybe you haven't got a net behind the target if you're shooting low and you've got like animal targets and things goes into the ground you know you can break a wooden arrow shaft the fletchings can come off these things happen yeah okay so i don't expect to get 100 percent. and and i mean the the value of a singular bolt goes down yeah the more you have so exactly. you won't miss it if you've lost one or two if you have 60. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that, so for, my tip would be, look out for these. These I got off Amazon, they're not branded. Okay, so they came... Okay, so they're not related I, to Angle no, Arts. I can't, I can't say what brand they are exactly, because the packets were just blank. Mm -hmm. But it's easy to see, because when you go onto there, you just look for the ones with the full alloy shaft, and they've got the rubber fly stuck on job done and they have been great and i'm really happy with those and they just add to the fun when you target shooting with these bad boys oh i love these pistol crossbows they're fantastic yeah so really and are. as you can see in this video zach has kind of put an adaption on his well i needed to tell them apart somehow i suppose yeah I mean, <laughs> so i took a bipod off of one of my took airsoft the, guns took the uh, front, stuck it on uh, the, front. The, the front uh, uh handle. handle off of your one and mm. switched it over for an airsoft bipod and it actually works quite well because yeah. loading it you can actually load it rather effectively just using that massive handle yeah which is quite fun and it i mean it's got its own inbuilt stand and if you want to obviously put the stand on something to shoot if you yeah. want to lie on the ground shoot you can do all, all of that stuff so yeah it's a bit of fun and you can put these kind of adaptations on these mm. so there you go but anyway this video uh, was all about the bolts this type of bolt is what I am finding presently to be of the best value because it was 24 for 19.99 off Amazon and I really haven't had an issue with the flights at all unlike the other ones which just snap off <laughs> Look, uh, and, and, and it's just not worth, worth repairing the damn things so there you go anyway thank you for tuning into this video and I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching Please like and share this video and subscribe to the East Beds Bushcraft channel. See you all again soon.